prayer on Wednesday the 28th of June. Birth of John the Baptist. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us, to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Or who can raise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 50 the Lord, the most mighty God, has spoken and called the world from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not keep silent. Consuming fire goes out before him and a mighty tempest stirs about him. He calls the heaven above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful, who have sealed my covenant with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, O Israel, for I am God, your God. I will not repro reprove you, reprove you for your sacrifices. For your burnt offerings are always before me. I will take no bull out of your house, nor he goat out of your folds. For all the beasts, the forest are mine cattle upon a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains, and the insect of the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the whole world is mine and all that fills it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? 
offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and fulfil your vows to God Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall honour me. But to the wicked, says God, why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips? Since you refuse to be disciplined and have cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you made friends with him and you threw in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to deceit. You sit and speak evil of your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things have you done, and should I keep silence? Do you think that I am even such as a one as yourself? But no, I must reprove you and set before your eyes the things that you have done. You that forget God, consider this well, lest I tear you apart and there is none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honours me, and to those who keep my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel according to Luke. In the fifteenth year of the reign of the Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip, ruler of the region of Iturea and Trachiontius. Uh, and Lysatius, ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas. The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain, and the hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came to be baptised by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then should we do? In reply he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptised, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. The soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money. Do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered them all by saying, I baptise you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. 
He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, to clear the threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. With the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now is the time to wake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For the night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Elizabeth, the wife of Zechariah, brought forth a son. He grew and became strong in spirit. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. For the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Elizabeth, the wife of Zechariah, brought forth a son. He grew and became strong in spirit. Let us pray. Merciful Father, as we look out on this new day, with the sunshine, the glory of your creation. Let us go forth, strong in the knowledge of your love, to proclaim the good news of your gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who, at the end of this period of lockdown, have realised that their lives together need the blessing of God and who wish to be married in our churches. Send your love upon them. Let them know the power of your love is as great as their love for each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for those who have found lockdown difficult and relationships that have failed. May a new start be given to them, that they may go forward in their lives, unencumbered by relationships that aren't going to work. Give them strength, courage and wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose by providence, you, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Saviour, by re, by preaching of repentance, lead us to repent according to his preaching and after his example, constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebuke vice, and patiently to suffer for truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And waiting for his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.